Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be painting goldfish similar to the goldfish painted by Henry Matisse in 1912. To get started, you're going to get a sheet of black construction paper and I want you to hold it portrait style so that it's longer up and down than it is side to side. You are going to need a couple different paintbrushes for this. So you need a thin paintbrush and then one that's kind of fluffy. And then you're also going to need some pink paint, orange paint, yellow, green, blue, and black. To start, we're going to start by sketching out our jar. So you're going to start with a white crayon and towards the top here you're going to make a pretty big oval just like that. And then overlapping that oval you're going to put another one. So the bottom here I'm going to do like a curved line and then I'm going to turn this into an oval just like that. And then I'm going to go down a little bit and I'm going to do a curved line for the bottom of the jar. And now what I'm going to do is draw a line that goes from that top oval down to the bottom here. And then same thing over here. And now we're going to make the table it sits on. So about halfway through the bottom here, we're going to do a curve that goes down and around for our table. And now we're ready to start painting. We're going to start with our fluffy paintbrush and some blue paint. And what you're going to do is just dab the color around the jar and the table. And because this is clear up here, we're going to do a little bit in between there too. So just this top half of that first oval. And I want to make sure to go all around the table. Without cleaning my brush, I'm going to get some green paint and do exactly the same thing. Alright, so don't worry if you paint it over top of that first line. We're going to go back and paint it with some black paint. So no big deal. If you can't see it, you'll just paint it in with some black paint. Now what we're going to do is get our thinner paintbrush and we're going to start by filling in the water here. So what I'm going to do is take some yellow paint and just underneath of that curved line, I'm just going to add in kind of just a strip of yellow. And then without cleaning my paintbrush, I'm going to get some of the green and I'm going to layer that right on top. So I make this kind of light green color. And then I'll add some more green right underneath of that. And then I'm going to get some blue and add some blue underneath of that. Once I have kind of my three layers, I'm going to go back with some of the green over top of that blue and kind of blend it together. And that way we get that gradual change of color from the light green to the blue. Now I'm going to wash and dry my paintbrush. And this oval right here, I want to paint in all yellow. And I'm kind of swirling around, going from a bigger oval to a smaller oval just to give it that water look. All right, so now we're ready for the table. So I'm going to wash and dry my paintbrush and we're gonna get some of the pink and we're gonna paint around the jar and inside of this circle that we drew. Once that's filled in, we wanna put like a little bit of the bottom of the table, kind of centered a little bit to the left here. So I'm just gonna draw or paint just two little curved lines that go down to the edge of the paper and I'm going to fill that in. And then in order to separate the table from the stand here, we're going to get the teeniest bit of black, not a lot, just tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And you're going to put it on the bottom here, just little tiny lines. And then you can drag it across a little bit to blend it with the edge of the table. All right. So now I'm going to wash and dry my paintbrush again. I'm going to add in some yellow pebbles on the bottom here. So I'm going to get my yellow and just do little dots just at the bottom where the darkest blue is. And I want to go a little bit up the edges. So I'm using my smaller brush for these dabs to make it look like small tiny pebbles. And then I want to add in little dabs of color 
or little dabs of yellow in the pink here as well. And I'll go back and dab on the pink. And that's just to add some texture to our table so that it kind of matches the background. So now before we add our goldfish, we are going to outline the jar with the black paint. So you need to wash and dry your paintbrush again. And you're going to outline the jar. So remember how we did those lines that went straight down the side. It's going to curve underneath. We're going to outline this oval. And then remember there was one more oval here, so you may or may not be able to see that. And if you can't see it, you're just going to paint in another oval right on top. All right, now we're ready to add our goldfish. So in Matisse's painting, he has four goldfish, and he's got one that's kind of going down towards the gravel. So we're just kind of painting an oval for the body. So just a curved line up and a curved line down. Fill it in. And he's got one almost over top of this, just facing to the left. So again, I'm going to do another oval. And I don't have their tails done yet. So I'm going to start with this bottom fish here since it's behind the top fish. And I'm going to do its tail first. And then I'll do my top fish's tail. Just like that. So it's just little lines like a sideways V. And then he had one goldfish on top here that was facing the left. So again, another oval. Two lines like a sideways V. And then one more facing down and to the right. Now I might give it a little bit of time to dry and then do a second coat to make my goldfish super bright. But we also want to add in the reflection at the top here. So what I'm going to do is take some orange paint and because we have two goldfish overlapping, one's facing down, we're doing a thick line just like that. And then one's over top of it facing left, so another thick line just like that. We have our goldfish in the middle here, so one thick line here in the middle. And then another goldfish angled down and to the right, so we'll do another thick line here. And that kind of resembles the reflection of the fish into the top of the jar. So our goldfish are missing just one thing, their eyes. So what you're going to do is go back to this bigger brush and you're going to use the handle here. And I want you to dip it into the yellow paint and you're just going to dab on an eye for each goldfish. And then you're going to add in the pupil using the smaller paintbrush, the end of the smaller paintbrush. Again, dipping it in the black. Be very gentle. You just want to add it to like the top of that yellow. All right, so now we have one more final touch. Um, you need to wash and dry your fluffy paintbrush. And we're going to add in a little bit of the pink on the top left corner and the bottom right corner. So I'm using my fluffy paintbrush and I'm just going to dab it top right. And so I'm going from the corner and then just kind of extending down and out just one dip of the pink and see how far it gets me. And then same thing at the bottom here, just one little dip go down and across. And I'm going to go back with a little bit more blue and just kind of blend it in as well as some green. All right, boys and girls, that's all there is to our goldfish like Matisse painting. I hope if you make these at home, you tweet me a picture at Mix It Up Art, and as always, have fun.